to compensate for your last one. As if the future's never free to break the past. I've seen a lot being friends with Nicole. Statutory teachers, pedophile counselors, white nationalists. One guy even killed his mom for me. I mean, I'd kill my mom for me as much as the next guy, but geez. No matter what she did, it would just leave the people closest to me dead or traumatized. I can't promise things are gonna end any better. But at least we can try our best. This is the flip side. Am I already awake? This sucks. It's like Percocet just makes you s- I want Adderall. I want a cigarette and Adderall. What was I even supposed to do this week? Morning, sweetheart. Yeah, uh, Dad, why were all the family photos with Mom shattered on the bathroom floor? Just, just don't worry about it. I'll clean it up later. Why don't you clean it up now, Dad? Before I step in it and turn into a Ripley's episode? Okay, okay, I'll get the vacuum. Jessica, there's... Did Mom get kidnapped? What? No, now don't be re- uh, I guess you're right. The news thinks women are worthless once they turn 30 anyway. Well, Jesus Christ, they're not wrong. What? Honey, your mother and I are getting a divorce. Are you positive? For what? N no, I mean... Look, I don't mean to bring all this on you at once, but I think the last... She's left to go live with your grandmother until... Holy shit. I if you need any family counseling, this we... This shit's gonna be awesome! How? Two birthdays, two Christmases, too many excuses to get really cute emo tattoos. Dear, I'm not sure if you should look at this as a good thing. It's not like somebody died or whatever, she's just living somewhere else. And would you want to live with her and your grandma? Dad, fuck no. Grandma's like the biggest bitch on earth. Besides, all my friends are here. Well, all right. But just so you know, now that she's gone, there's gonna have to be a few changes around here. Changes like what? Since her income no longer contributes to the household, paying for your college is turning out to be a little more... So what are you saying? I'm saying you're going to have to get a job if you want to continue to live here. Dad, what the fuck? I know, I know. I said you wouldn't need to, but... She's the one divorcing you. Don't take it out on me. I swear if you don't... Shut the fuck up! I will throw your ass out on the street! Uh, okay, Dad. How about I knock a tooth out every time you act like your bitch whore mother? Think I give a fuck we paid for braces? Right, fine. I'll get a job. Shit! Still going to be a bitch? No, no. I'll be good. Good, because if you're not, I will smack your makeup off! Now get your ass out there and find a job or your mattress is going in the backyard! Okay, just stop yelling! Good, because the last thing we want is you ending up like your freeloading whore of a mother. I thought she had a job. Yeah, we don't want that. I'm sorry I yelled, sweetheart, but now that you're 18 and mom's not around anymore, the parenting's going to be a little different from now on. Who's daddy's girl? I am... Good. Hello? Hey, Craig. Yeah, I'd love to donate to that underprivileged youth program. He donates to charity. How could he abuse his daughter? And he's not bluffing? Do you think I want to find out? I'm just going to get my horrible job to appease him until I go to college in September. But Ulta's not hiring, Journeys isn't hiring, not even Popeyes is hiring. How's a restaurant where everyone looks miserable not have a huge turnover rate? Because the recession. What even is the recession? I don't know, but it's a thing you can blame shit on. The recession's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm broke because the recession. Yeah, can't have dinner with your vegan parents, recession. I wish that worked on my dad. And your dad wishes you worked. Cruel irony. Oh, hey guys, fancy seeing you here. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, we're busy, Jeffrey busy applying for jobs, I take it. Are you stalking her? What the? No. I saw you were running around with a bunch of application papers on my way to work is all. Work is all? What do you mean work? You have a job? That's right. I got a job at the bookstore since I spent so much time reading the manga there. Every time you talk, I really wonder how you could possibly have legal sex. Uh, so what? After graduation, I realized that sex is kind of overrated. 
I'm into plenty of other stuff beyond girls and their high standards. Is bathing a standard? You know, Jeffrey, some girls would lower their standards if you could get them hired at the bookstore you're working at. Sorry, but no can do. A recession and all. Bitch, don't lie to us. You think I could just give you handouts because you're a girl? Avi, the workforce is biased against women. Help us out. Help her out? I don't want a bitch-ass job. You girls always pull that feminism card. Sorry, but your damsel in distress act ain't working here, tuts. Oh, I'm gonna be late, women. I think all the not fucking women is turning into not liking women. Do you think you should turn gay? I don't think it works like that. Okay, well, Hot Topic's next on the list. Could I turn gay working there? You can't just magically turn gay. This isn't Degrassi. Why are you so against turning gay? Because if you think you turned gay, there's some weird Christian guy who thinks he can electrocute you into turning back. People think that? Yeah, but only a small number with lots of money and political power, so don't worry about it. Cool. Yeah, let's see if I can find a goth work girlfriend. You ever feel like this place isn't hardcore enough? What, like all the Disney stuff? No, it's just missing something. Like if I ran this place, the TVs would have videos of guys getting decapitated with a Hello Kitty watermark in the corner. That'd be cool. You should apply for manager here. Do you realize the type of people you gotta deal with working here? What's up, bitches? What the fuck do you want? Yeah, and we don't go to school with you anymore, so you can't just come up to us. Well, no, if anything, I could do what I want since you don't have the principal to squeal to. This isn't school, it's real life. We'll just tell the police. No, you won't. How do you know? Don't like 50% of women not even report crimes or whatever? Yeah, so? So if I punch you in the neck, flip a coin, bitch. And he's off to his dad's dealership. What are you posers doing here? You go to Hot Topic alone and you're calling us posers? Yeah, we're not here because we like it. I'm just trying to get a job. Do you work here? No. Are you sure? I work at the Chrome Diner, not this weirdo hangout for girls who clap when they see pandas. But if we're the only ones in here, who does work here? How'd you buy that all-time low cereal? These all-time O's? I'm just stealing them. But why do you need a job? I thought your parents had money. My parents are getting divorced and some other shit. But yeah, I really gotta work. Strip club in Crystal City's hiring. Ew, fuck that. What's it pay? Tips. Yeah, ew, fuck that. I didn't bust my ass in high school to sell my body to guys who look like Super Mario without the costume. Yeah, we'll see. Let me know if you want to wait tables. I can do better than waiter, right? But you can't even wait for popcorn. I told you, I like it medium well. But yeah, Jekka, I'm super stoked that you want to work at FYE with me. You think I want to work? Oh, customer, hold on. Welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, honey. You don't have some of that mild style, do you? I'm sorry, mild... what? Is that a band? No, it's not a band. It's that mild, mild, mild. You know what I mean? Sir, this isn't a Popeyes, but maybe they could help you out. Yeah, with everything but a goddamn motherfucking job. The dumbest bitches on earth working here nowadays. What was that all about? Sometimes old people use retail to be recreationally angry. Well, damn, now I really don't want to work here. No, no, it's cool. That was like once in a blue moon. What are the rest of the customers like? Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Did you hear the new Devin Townsend album? He's like the, the drummer from The Who. Fuck no not working here. Oh, hello. Um, Nicole, right? Yeah. Where's Jessica? Jessica, right. She's just up in her room applying for jobs over the phone, but she'll only be a few more minutes. Cool. But, um, we can talk while she's busy. How you doing? How you doing today? Yeah. You guys got anything planned? Um, we're gonna go to Claire's and trick 12-year-olds into getting their eyelids pierced. Oh, Claire's. Yeah, I've been there a few times. For what? Oh, just, uh, browsing. By the looks of things, you're using their accessories really well. Yeah, I guess I would if I actually shopped there. Too bad I'm not some sugar-free vanilla bitch who thinks Katherine Heigl is funny. Oh, right. Yeah. No, I, um... So where do you shop? It's pretty indie. You probably haven't heard of it. Try me. I used to be in that scene. What scene? Um, you know, the scene. Sure. No, but, yeah, Jessica never told me much about you. Especially not how beautiful you are. 
Yeah, I'm kind of perfect like that. She's probably jealous. You know, before her mother, my last girlfriend was a brunette too, actually. Really? Cool, yeah, that's normal to tell me. By the way, I just got these blue oyster cult tickets if you're ever interested. Sorry, I'm not religious. No, no, blue oyster cult. They're a band. Aren't most cults banned? No, a rock band. Oh, never heard of them. So, who do you like? Nobody. I'm gonna go up now. Wait, but I don't think she's done yet. Well, it felt like an eternity talking to you, so if this bitch doesn't have a job by now, I'm pretty sure you failed as a parent. Okay, thanks for the job. And yeah, bring your Adderall on Monday. What kind of job did you get? Oh, Emily just got me a job waiting tables with her. How does buying a girl's Adderall turn into employment? Buying drugs can make you like the most connected person in town. I guess I would know that if I didn't always steal them. Yeah, it's a great way to meet friends you'll immediately cut off once you get your life together. Wow, working in a diner. That's like the start of a Hillary Duff movie where she finds out her dad has a blood diamond mine. Did you just get here? No, your dad made me wait downstairs. He kept trying to talk to me. Oh, well, how'd that go? How would I word this? Your dad really wants to fuck me. Well, no way. Yahweh. My dad would never do that. Never or never want to. But how do you know? Why don't you just believe me? Because I don't believe my dad would just go up to you like, let's fuck. No, they never do it like that. I can just tell. He was way too interested. Interested how? He told me I'm beautiful. What if he's just being nice? He asked me where I shop for accessories. He's just looking around for my birthday. Bitch, that's ten months from now. All right, fine, but if that's all you have, I don't think that's enough to go off of. His last girlfriend was a brunette. His what? He told me his last girlfriend was a brunette. Uh, Nicole. Yeah? My dad wants to fuck you. I know. I'm gonna kill myself. Help me kill myself! Well, that wouldn't be technically killing yourself, now would it? I can't go through with it alone! I'm too scared! Work that job for a month. You'll get there. Yeah, so, uh, any questions? Can your boyfriend get ketamine, too? About the job? Oh, um, don't you have to wear a uniform? We make $2 an hour and the rest is in tips. I'm not wearing some ugly-ass uniform. Yeah, I guess we gotta look our best then. Besides, the manager likes it. I'm pretty sure he dates a different waitress every month anyway. Is that why he wanted a picture before hiring me? Yeah, it's basically the Playboy Mansion with more calories. More like the Playboy Motorhome, we're not getting paid shit! Oh, he actually gives a bonus if you wear open toe shoes. Fucking why? I don't know, he's five foot four in Turkish. You think he's gonna act normal? I guess it's worth the bonus. And your boyfriend's just okay with all this? Which one? The, uh, never mind. At least I'm not a whore. Why do you gotta work so much again? My dad's forcing me to help out with the bills until college. Dude, fuck your bitch ass dad. I know, right? Okay, well, I gotta refill this old guy's coffee before he starts telling me how service was better in the 60s. Why doesn't everyone buy CDs at the bookstore? Because who the fuck buys CDs in general? What is it, 2004? You don't always get locked out of your iTunes account from your ex-boyfriend hacking into it. Wow, computer literacy is the single most weaponized thing against women. Exactly! The CDs can't trick me into clicking on malware that calls me gay. But yeah, what'd you even get? I got the entire discography of Beanie Siegel. So what, like three CDs? Yeah, plus this cute little chemistry set in the kids section. You can make pop rocks, but shittier. Weren't your paycheck supposed to help out your dad? Whatever, there should be enough left over. Or you could buy me shoes at Journeys instead. Actually, sure. But will you be my girlfriend after? Nope. Uh, you were just using me the whole time, you're a whore. Yep, I've been there before. Why are you stalking us? What do you mean? I work here. Oh, cool. Well, fuck off. One day, you girls won't be so lucky and are gonna have to face life how it really is. Is getting sexually assaulted every week lucky? Be grateful somebody even wants you in the first place. Oh, I wanna kill you. Ring us up before I beat your before photo looking ass into dust. All right, fine. But wait, you don't have any books. Why the fuck does that matter? Ring me up. Books are the best part of this place. You can read about trains or anime or podiatry or fantasy. Who fucking cares about fantasy? I got my own problems, dude. Are you telling me you didn't like Harry Potter? Didn't like? I didn't fucking read it. Oh, dear. Is that why you wear those stupid glasses? Because of Harry Potter? No, baby. I, Harry Potter is just so relatable. How can you not like it? Dude, bitches don't give head or pussy or anything in it. They just care about school. Yeah, we see why you find it relatable. No one fucks in it. That is not the point. Ugh, just 
follow me to the register? Over-socialized women. We're gonna make pretty lampshades. I wish there was something more relaxing than cigarettes. Death? Yeah. By the way, where'd you get your purple jeans? I want some. Shop in Georgetown? They were like $200. How do you blow 200 on jeans when we're getting paid the same? You think this is my only job? Wow, I can barely do this job. I don't know why, but I feel like we're too pretty to work. What do they say? If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Cool, so what do you do? I sell cough medicine to middle schoolers and tell them it's heroin. Fuck, now I want a side job. You gotta get this job under control first. Manager keeps bitching about you coming in late. You come in late with me. Yeah, but I don't really give a shit if I get fired. New boyfriend, lots of money. Bought me these pants, actually. I thought you got them with your side job money. No, I just changed the subject so I'd look cool and independent. Oh, so who's your new guy? He's older, but not like totally lame. Like, he's actually really fucking cool for an old guy. Is he actually rich? I mean, I work here, so rich to me. Yeah, I guess. How much has he spent on you? I lost count. Easily a thousand. Cool, it sounds like he really likes you. Because he spends money on me? Well, it's not like men can communicate, so that's kind of all we have to go off of. How do you say that about men after gushing over Ryan Sheckler for like 50 hours? So? So he's a man? Ryan Sheckler's more than a man. He's a man with a gold medal at the X Games. Anytime he comes into town, I flip out. He'll be my favorite forever and ever. But Life of Ryan is like the worst show on TV. No, it isn't. Anime exists. I want to one-up this bitch with purple shorts. Like if Daisy Duke got her laundry mixed up with Grimace. Grimace? Are you keeping up with the wacky adventures of Ronald McDonald canon too? What? What? The Ronald McDonald cartoon? It was made by the same studio that gave us Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries. Jeffrey, please don't rape any women. They've had enough. Well, hey, I wouldn't want that to happen to any woman. Provided she's not mean to people. Wow. What's wrong? Nothing fixable, so I gotta go now. Wait, but uh, could I talk about something with you? Talk about what? About us. Well, I need funny stories for Kelly's party this weekend, so sure. Okay. I just wanted to apologize and explain why things were so awkward between us in high school. Us or everyone you meet? But now that we're graduated, I guess it won't hurt to come clean with this. I've always sort of been a secret admirer of yours. Okay, well, hey, I gotta go to work now. No, no, I'm serious. I like your hair and your face and some other things too, but I don't want to be inappropriate. No, go ahead and tell me while I dial 911 for an unrelated reason. Well, if you want me to, I always like how your jeans fit your body, and I like that your feet are really small and cute. Did you say feet? Yeah, i just like to... Oh, open-toed shoes! Are you wearing those for a special occasion? No, they're just for work. But yeah, I just love a cute pair of feet. So you don't like ass or titties or any of that, just the feet? Well, primarily the feet. Oh, hey, Jekka, what's up? Please don't get near this. Oh, okay. So, you ever step on anybody with those? With my feet? No. Oh, well, if you need a hundred dollars, I could pay you to step on me. Step on you? Why would you pay for that? I don't know. I, I just like it. It feels good to me. Hundred dollar? Fucking, Jeffrey, I'm gonna be late for work. What about two hundred? Two hundred? To step on you? Well, provided your shoes are off, of course. We can do it in a family-sized restroom here in the mall. Fuck, that's like twice what I'm making at work today. Okay, fine. Where do we do it? I think Old Navy's nearby. We could try the ladies' section. Old Navy? Why there? Because the two bitches who shop at Old Navy are either too ugly to be judgmental or no bitches at all. I think a private restroom in the mall might be better. Okay, let's do it in the bathroom at Crate and Barrel. Um, actually, if I could suggest the ladies' room at Starbucks... You just had that one ready. Yeah, I've done this a few times before at the mall with other girls, and the Starbucks restroom is pretty much a foot favorite. Why? Oh, lots of space, pretty quiet and secluded, and the tiles are really smooth and soft so they don't rough up those cute little feet of yours. And you're not gonna murder me once we're in there? Of course not! I want to take care of your feet, 
not hurt them. But the rest of me is expendable. So yeah, come on, let's go to Starbucks. Are you gonna buy me coffee first? I think there's more than enough room in the budget for that. And is that coming out of my payment, or is it coffee in addition to the 200? For you, coffee plus the 200. I want to make sure you're taken care of since you haven't done this before. Wow, I wish men I actually consider sexually told me that. Who knows? Foot services are a great way to start relationships. Jeffrey, I wouldn't even consider you for a friendship. But... but why? Don't take this the wrong way, but... you look like you'd fuck your pets. I... would never. Okay, don't worry about it. Am I gonna step on you or what? The most amazing words a woman can say. God damn it. It's somewhat ironic that your face and your feet are on opposite parts of your body when they're by far your cutest features. Is that supposed to turn me on? I don't get it. No, but maybe this will. I think you're prettier than most of my favorite anime crushes. Most of, as in there's still literal drawings that rank ahead of me. Come on, let's go to Starbucks and buy you that coffee. The only circumstance where a white girl isn't happy to hear that. Mm, they feel like fleshy Play-Doh. Uh-huh. I like a girl that takes good care of her feet. Yours are so nice and soft. Oh, yeah? I just want to carry you everywhere so you never need to rough these up a day in your life. Kind of like I'm not a person? Yeah, cool. Also... Would you mind if I complimented the rest of your body? Jeffrey, no. Okay, because from this angle, you look very sexually tall. What the fuck did I just tell you? I asked you if you'd mind, and you said no. No, I meant no, don't do that. Oh, sorry then. No apology will erase this trauma. I'll just resume snuggling my cheeks up to these cute little toes. It's only been like 90 seconds, and I already want to kill myself. Kill yourself, but these size six feet are so cute. Size seven. Are you sure? They feel like a size six. I think I'd be the expert here. Okay, you're right. Mm, mm, softer than cotton candy. Okay, time's up, Jeffrey. Just five more minutes before I exit the gates of heaven. You're gonna enter the gates of hell if you don't get the fuck off my feet. Are you done in there? We're busy. That was unsettlingly aggressive. Me and the community just want to enjoy feet, and no one gets it. A community? Yeah, we all talk online. Just like-minded fellas who'd love feet like yours. You know, the internet also has like-minded fellas who molest kids. Is that okay, too? What, what was that? I was just nuzzling my nose between these adorable toes. Never mind, that answered my question. But if you'd like any more work like this, I could post a recommendation on our online forum. What forum? Feetmeat.com. It had to rhyme. Never doing that again. God, I hope I'm not too late. <laughs>